really good texture. I don't know if you ever tried like. Emily and this is Eater Drink and I'm clearly not at my house right now. Ivy and I are at Marshall's and I just had to come here to get a few different things. I feel like a lot of people don't know that they actually have a really cool snack section. So I'm going to show you while I'm in there some of the snacks they have and then when I get home I have some things we can test later. So they have that one whole section which is snacks and then this coffee creamers, powders, things like that. I always like to find things like this, so it's like a chickpea pasta. It's so cheap, so I'm going to try that. Yeah. See, this is why we don't have nice things, guys, right? So I'm going to sit down and I want to show you guys everything. I want to show you guys everything we got, um, but... I'm gonna make this right now, and this was one of the things I did show you while we were shopping. It's the chickpea fettuccine. I haven't tried this particular one. So we're gonna get lunch started, and then we'll sit down and show you guys what else we got. We are ready to try the snacks we got from Marshall's. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy is eating some of that. <laughs> Ivy's eating some of that chickpea pasta you guys saw before, and she's very happy, so that is a win. It has a really good texture. I don't know if you ever tried like a bean pasta before. It's like, it has these folds in it. It's not like so soft like normal pasta is, but it's different. It's a little change from just like a typical pasta. So Ivy's enjoying it. And now I want to try the rest of the snacks we got from Marshall's. I was very impressed with all the gluten-free and vegan snacks they had. Again, I'm not vegan, but I am allergic to dairy and eggs. So if I'm not getting anything with meat, which most snacks don't have meat, they're going to be vegan as well. And there's some really interesting things. I think only one of them I've tried before, but I did want to get it because it's delicious. The rest of these, though, it's going to be my first impression and Ivy's first impression. I'm excited to try them and see what we found. This time I got a lot of good stuff. <laughs> but I'm really curious, does yours regularly have snacks like this? Let me know in the comments what types of things you have found. As always, please subscribe if you are new to this channel. My YouTube channel is relatively new. I only have a few videos so far. So it would definitely be so appreciated if you subscribe. If you haven't been there before, head to eaterdrink.net. That is my website. That has been around much longer than this YouTube channel. And you will find lots of recipes and resources. So head over there now, link is in the description. We did cheat and we have tried one of these already. Ivy was getting very hangry in the store. She loved them and I loved them too. But these are called fruise balls and I will try and find everything online, I'm sure I can. And I'll link all of these down below. But... And I got the lemon cheesecake flavor. They had like a peanut butter one, but I can't do peanuts. And then they had a chocolate. These are delicious. They're just like a nut ball. Um, very, very clean ingredients. Really good. I love the lemon flavor. They're really tasty. And then the one I got that I have tried before is the Heavenly Hunks. I am always looking for these at Marshall's. Lately, they've only had like the peanut butter flavor, which can't have because of peanuts. Um, this flavor is amazing. It's oatmeal white chocolate chip, but of course it's dairy free. I'm not going to try one of these right now, but they're incredible. You guys got to find these. This one, I cannot wait any longer to try. It took all of my self-control to not break this open in the store, but I've never seen these before and I really wanted to give you a first impression. So they're drizzlelicious. And they're crunchy drizzle bites with rice, chia, quinoa, and flax. They are vegan though, so it's vegan chocolate. Let's see. I'm very excited. Let's just stop talking and start trying. Ooh, they're so cute. The bag made them look, I thought they were going to like be big round, like rice cake type things. They're little and cute. Oh, wow. I'll give her one. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, this one doesn't have much chocolate, so you can try it. A lot of times snack things like this, especially gluten-free, dairy-free ones, they'll say like, oh, s'mores flavor, but you're not tasting any marshmallow, so I don't know why they call it s'mores flavor. So this tastes like s'mores. It definitely has a marshmallow taste, a chocolate taste. Mmm. Really good. Next, I'm going to try the only savory one I got. I kind of figured since I'm getting snacks, maybe I shouldn't just get dessert snacks. So these are everything tortilla chips, so they're everything flavored. These caught my eye because I haven't seen tortilla chips that have everything seasoning on them. 
which sounds really fun, and I always love that seasoning. And it's by Traveling Snacks. Let's give them a shot. Am I going to be able to open them? Come on! Okay, we need scissors. That's embarrassing. Is that like a sign that I should be going to the gym? Okay, ready? It's good. It's a tortilla chip with some everything seasoning. It doesn't taste like super strong. Do you want to try some? They're crunchy, so be careful. Use your little teethies. What do you think? They're just okay. I mean, it's a good corn chip. Definitely like worth it if you see them and you want corn chips. They just don't have a super strong flavor, which is what I was kind of hoping for. But if you have salsa, I mean, it's a great corn chip. We'll do this one next. So I have had different products from this company before. It's called Inno Foods. They have one of these at Costco. It's like a sunflower seed cluster blend. And this one is just a cranberry nuts one. I really love Craisins, so I thought I would give this one a shot. <laughs> yeah, these are really good. This is only $4.99. Normally, this bag is $7, it says. So that's an amazing deal. I don't think you can chew this one. Let me give you the healthiest one. Oh, you have some, silly girl. So these are definitely good. I knew they would be. Their, their foods are really good. But it's really cool that you can get it at Marshall's. Next one I want to try, I'm excited for. Have you guys ever had Bada Bean Bada Booms? They're really good. I have tried the savory flavors at my Whiteman's, and they're delicious. And I saw these today. Um, they're sweet cinnamon. What is it? Broad beans. So crunchy broad beans. And they have a ton of seasoning and flavor on them always. And this is a sweet one. So let's see. I'm excited. Um, and this was only $1.99, normally $2.99, so you're saving a dollar. Mm, that's really good. It's a really interesting combo of flavors. Because it's a bean, so it's not like super, super sweet. Ah! What? Do you want another something sweet? Yeah, these are good. Okay, they do have stevia in them. So I was getting that aftertaste. It's like, I don't like the taste of stevia. I don't think it has a very good aftertaste, but these are good. I'm definitely going to eat the whole bag and enjoy it. Last one, guys. This is GoCo in their Crunchy Coconut Bites with roasted sesame seeds. This one is only $1.99. Normally it's $2.50, so that's a really good deal again. Oh, and they're little again. Like, big thing. They're so cute. Oh, wow. That is not what I was expecting at all. I mean, it's basically just like coconut that's mushed into this little disc, and it's really good. And it has sesame seeds in it. All it is is coconut, sesame seeds, tapioca starch, and salt. So really simple, but a lot of flavor, and definitely a good Marshall's haul. So that's it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this Marshall's haul, and I hope it gave you some ideas of another place you can get gluten-free snacks. At a discount price, you know, when you have a lot of food allergies like me, any place we can save money is a bonus. <sighs> so I'm probably going to go and finish this whole bag. I'm just going to have to take a nap and hopefully the chocolate doesn't keep her up. Um, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.